and welcome to Lydia Hawk Designs. Today we're going to make the Crochet Fox EarPods keychain. This is a really great way to store your EarPods if, like me, you still have EarPods with a wire attachment. Apple eventually stopped making the plastic cases for these EarPods. So the alternative I found is a really, really cute container that doesn't have to be a keychain. You can throw these in your purse, your gym bag, but it's kind of a nice option because it's secure, it's not gonna fall off. So we're gonna need three skeins of worsted weight yarn. Color A is orange, color B is black, and color C is white. A size US G6 four millimeter crochet hook, one stitch marker, so everything's here including tapestry needle, five eighth inch button, a sewing needle for the button, and matching thread, and 1.25 inch diameter key ring. So we've got everything, we're ready to start. The Fox case bottom is very straightforward. So we're gonna start with a slip knot. We have a nice long tail for weaving in the end. It says with G6 hook and color A, chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch into first chain space, creating ring. So into that first chain space we go, we slip stitch, we've created our ring. Round one, single crochet six, into ring, so one, two, three, four, five, six, slip stitch into first single crochet, so the very first one, we go in, slip stitch, chain one, place marker. Round two, two single crochet into each single crochet around. So we're creating our first increase. One, two, three, next single crochet, one, two, we'll increase all the way around until we have 12 stitches. Slip stitch, chain one, place marker. Round three, single crochet one, two single crochet into next, so that's our increase. And then it reads, repeat from asterisk to asterisk to end. So we're gonna repeat those instructions within asterisk. So single crochet one, two into next. So that's our increase, one, two. We're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. Slip stitch, chain one, Place marker. Round four, single crochet two. So we're still increasing, but we're single crocheting two first and then two into the next. So that's four. And then it says repeat from asterisk to asterisk all the way around. So we're gonna to continue to do just that. Single crochet two, two single crochet. Slip stitch, chain one, place marker. Round five, single crochet three, One, two, 
three, two single crochet, one, two, and we're going to repeat from asterisk to asterisk all the way around. This is our final increase and we'll end up with 30 stitches. Round six through nine, single crochet 30, slip stitch, chain one, place marker. We're going to fast forward through all of these. We have 30, so we're going to single crochet 30, and then we're going to pick this up at round 10. Round 10, in back loops, single crochet 30. So we're going to do the same thing we did for rounds six through nine, but we're only going to work in the back loops. As you can see, our stitch has two loops. There's one closest to us and there's one farthest from us. We're going to single crochet into the loop farthest from us all the way around. So just that back loop, one, two, three, four, all the way around. All right, slip stitch. So we've got our little ridge, we can see it right there. And now we're just going to repeat round six for rows 11, 12, and 13. So let's go ahead and fast forward there. I've just finished round 13. Before I place my marker, I'm actually gonna loosen my thread on the needle so that it doesn't come apart. And I'm gonna turn this inside out. According to my pattern, it says pause here to weave in ends. So we've got one. So let's just go ahead and get rid of it because we're about to close the bottom of our Fox Cozy. This is actually Caron yarn and it's quite fuzzy. The challenge so far has been not snagging the yarn with this smaller hook. Normally for worsted weight, I use a size H. So this one's particularly small and I don't really have to close this hole. I just have to weave in this tail. But as you can see, where we created our ridge, the rest of the bag is going to fold in like this. It's going to be a nice sturdy bottom to our cozy. So now I'm just going to put my needle back on my loop, place my marker, and start my decreases. Round 14, single crochet three, single crochet two together. Our first decrease, so and then repeat from asterisk to asterisk to the end. All the way around, let's work our decrease and come back at round 15. Single crochet two single crochet two together. Repeat from asterisk to asterisk all the way around. So we're going to work our second row of decreases. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and then we will come back. So we've worked all the way to the end of round 15. It says slip stitch into marker space, chain one and turn. 
we're going to work rows now. So it says turn. We will work our first row now. We're creating an inside edge. Round one, single crochet 18. So we have 18 on our hook. We're going to go into that very first stitch space. So one, two, three, Seventeen, eighteen. Chain one, turn. Row two through six, repeat row one. So we're going to keep doing exactly this and turning until we get to round seven. So let's work one more and then we'll skip. So one, two, eighteen. Chain one and turn. Round seven, single crochet one, single crochet two together. So we're working a decrease. It's our final row. And we repeat from asterisk to asterisk all the way around. One, single crochet two together. And now we Bind off, so we're going to cut a nice long tail and pull it through. And then weave it into the interior of our bag. Now we have the bottom of our bag. We just push the edges inside where we've created our edge. And then we set aside. Says we're making the fox ears first so we can attach them before we finish the top they attach to. So with C I'm going to slip stitch leaving enough of a tail to weave in the end. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Row one skip first chain single crochet four. So if you're ever confused about it just count from the beginning. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to work one, two, three, four. Chain one, turn single crochet two together. Twice. So one, two, chain one and turn, single crochet two, 
one, two, chain one and turn, single crochet two together, one, two. Bind off. And I'm going to wait to weave in the ends. With color A, slip stitch into bottom right of ear. This is the top of my ear. So the bottom right is here. I'm creating the edging. I'm going to leave a nice long tail for attaching to the top. So I'm leaving about six inches. Chain one. Single crochet into the same slip stitch area. Then find two along the side. One. Two. Then I'm going to single crochet three in the very top. There's a loop at the very top. One, two, three. Fox ears are pointed, so I want to make sure there's plenty of point right there. Then I'm going to find two more along the side. One, two, and then there's a third right at the bottom here. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish at the bottom. All right? I have to go through these stitches anyway to attach, so I think that's a really good way to do it. And then slip stitch. The back is still white, but you could technically make four ears and just make two of them orange only. And then bind off, making sure you got a nice long tail for attaching to the head. Fox case top with G hook and color B, which is black. So slip knot with G hook and color B chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to create my ring. And then I'm going to single crochet four, it says round one, single crochet four into ring, one, two, three, four. Then it says with color C, slip stitch into first single crochet. So this is my first single crochet right here. Color C is white. So I'm going to slip stitch with color C And then I'm going to chain one and place marker. Round two, two single crochet around. So this is an increase. We're going to end up with eight. So one, two into the first stitch, then one, two into the second, and 
Now this is the part where we turn, we're going to go ahead and push the inside out. This is the right side of the fox face. And it also allows us a little more space now to see our stitches. Round three, single crochet one, Two single crochet, pull in color A through final two loops. So we're going to increase one, two, but before we finish, here are our final two loops. We're going to pull color A through. And it says single crochet one. And then two single crochet. So we're increasing one, two. And as we go, we can tighten our stitches, not too much, but we don't want them loose. So just want to make sure that they're tight, but not too tight. Repeat once more, pulling color C through final two loops. So one more time, we're going to single crochet one, increase, we're going to pull color C through. And since it's just right here, and we won't be seeing the inside of the top part of our cozy, and so that it's also not very tight. You can cut this, but what I prefer to do um, instead of wasting thread is just to use my middle finger to push it down to, towards the center. That way you don't have it coming straight across really tight. The last thing we wanna do is bind up the center by pulling string by pulling thread from the opposite side really tight across the center. Using my middle finger and pushing it in releases that tension. And we won't see the inside anyway, so it's fine to do that. But if you feel more comfortable cutting and starting from scratch, please do. Single crochet one. Two single crochet. Slip stitch, chain one, place marker. We've got a little nose, the top part of the snout and the bottom part. Round four, single crochet two, pulling color A through final two loops. One, And I don't want to cut it, so I'm just going to use my middle finger to push it to the center, release the tension. I'm going to hold my finger there so it doesn't move. I'm going to tighten color C, two single crochet, pull in color B through final two loops. So increase one, two, pull color B through. Doing the same thing, I'm going to use my middle finger to push it to the center, relieve that tension. Tighten color A. With A, single crochet one, pulling color B through. So I'm going to start one with A. And I'm going to pull color B through. Then it says, with A, two single crochet, pull in color B through. So I'm going to start with A and work an increase. One, two, and I'm going to pull color B through.
with A, single crochet one, pulling color B through. So start one, pull B through. With a single crochet one, then single crochet one, pulling color C through. So one, and then pull color C through. Again, I'm going to use my middle finger to release the tension so I don't have to cut the yarn. I'm going to pull that through. I'm going to tighten color A. In same stitch, single crochet one. So in the stitch I just worked, I'm going to single crochet one, single crochet three, one, two, three, and then two single crochet. So increase one, two in the same stitch, slip stitch, chain one, place marker. So as you can see, we've got fox eyes round five. Single crochet two, pulling color A through final loops. One, two, single crochet one, pulling color B through two loops. So one, In back loop, two single crochet. So in the back loop of our first black stitch, we're going to single crochet two into the same one. It's our increase. One, two, in back loop, single crochet one, pulling color A through. So in the back loop, we go in one before we finish. We're going to pull color A through. Single crochet two, pulling color B through final loops. So we're increasing. One, two, and we're going to pull color B through the final two loops. In back loop, single crochet one. In back loop, two single crochet, pulling color A through. So increase one, two, pulling color A through. Single crochet one, pulling color C through. So one, single crochet one. Two single crochet, one, two, single crochet, five, one, two, three, four, five.
slip stitch round six single crochet one pulling a through so again we're going to release our tension I'm going to use two fingers now that the space is wider I'm going to tighten color C single crochet two one two in back loop in back loop single crochet two so one two single crochet two so one two in back loop single crochet two one two single crochet two pulling color C through so one Two. Again, I'm going to relieve the tension. I'm going to use two fingers now. Tighten color A. Single crochet nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. With a cute little fox face. Slip stitch. And then it says with A, this is where I'm going to cut it because we're going to finish the rest of this with A. And I'm not going to leave a long tail. I'm actually just going to tie down the ends in the back and then cut them because it's all going to be tucked into the center. So I'm going to chain one with A, place my marker, and finish. Round seven, single crochet four, one, two, three, four. And I'm just going to tighten everything down. I'm going to go ahead and cut color B. And color C. Two single crochet. One, two. And then repeat from asterisk to asterisk. So we're increasing all the way around. Round eight, single crochet three. One, two, three, two single crochet, one, two, repeat from asterisk to asterisk, one, two. Now we're going to want to pause here and add eye accents tie off our ends. We're going to do that right here where everything's still really close. And I want to tie them to strengthen them. Anything that's really close together. So as you can see, these two are close. So I'm going to tie those in a double knot. And then I'm just going to shorten them. If you cut each time, you'd have a lot, and it would probably be easier to tie it. 
tie these off as you go, but I've only got a few, so let's see, these two are close. And these three are close. I just want to make sure I tie them close to where the ends actually sit. You can see it's why it's easier to do it as you go. So here they are, kind of close to the front. I'll start with black and orange. And then I'll tie off white and orange. It just reinforces the construction. And then these two. You could just leave them inside, tucked inside without tying them off. It's still going to be really sturdy, but if you're concerned at all, then go ahead and tie them. I'm also going to add little eye accents. As you can see in the picture, I just add two little tiny dots right in the front center. So there's a row here, here, and here. I'm just going to go into the very edge area and add a little speck of white. Gives our box a little, a little more detail in the eye. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tie a double knot in back. And these are already really short, so I'm probably just going to leave them as is. Now I'm going to slip stitch chain one. So as you can see, I had to back up and make the ears. <laughs> I was so anxious to start the top that I skipped the ears, even though my instructions say to make the ears first, I skipped it. So now I have to join color A after cutting it. Round nine through 10, single crochet 30. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the end. Round 11, in back loops, single crochet 30. So in the very back loops, the loops farthest from us, one, two, three, we're creating that ridge that will help us find the line where we tuck the inside of the case in towards the face. Round 12 through 13, single crochet 30. So I'm going to skip ahead. We'll come back to pausing to attach the ears. We have reached round 13, and now we're going to attach the ears. So I loosened my loops so that my stitches don't come undone. So I've loosened my loop here. This is the part that tucks in. We've, we see our ridge, right? We go ahead and do that. Basically what I do is I just follow the picture on the pattern and 
from what I can see, there are a couple of stitches separating the ears and they start a couple of rows above the eyes. So let's start with, this is the top of our ear. So I'm gonna start with this side. And just to make sure, let's just take a look. So if we leave a couple of stitches separation and we start Let's say we start at the next to last stitch before our ridge. So here's two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So if we start right here, we're probably fine. That's probably a good place to go in. I don't want to get tangled up in my loose thread. So here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So right here is where I'm going to go in. Yep, that looks really good. And now I'm going to go, I'm just going to go in to the very next stitch on the left side and also the next stitch space on the ear. And then just back and forth. So into the next although I probably ought to go into the next spot on the ear also. Just keep threading it through both, back and forth. And then, yeah, we've got a really good, we've got a really good foundation. And before I even finish, just to make sure, I hate having to untangle thread. Over here, I'm actually going to start I'm actually going to thread this end so that I can, so I can mimic the exact same thing, except that I don't have a loose tail on the far left side of this ear. So I'm going to, we were able to go four, so one, two, three. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to start right here, a couple stitches over and mimic exactly what I did. See if I could get them lined up really good that way. Got a lot of th loose thread here, but I'd rather attach the ear and then deal with the loose threads. Sometimes you find that you need the extra loose thread that you already weaved in. And I don't wanna, I'm just gonna weave in everything at the end. So we were right here, and then I just want to find the very next stitch next to that one. Here we go, right here. And then I'm going to simultaneously go through the next stitch at the bottom of my ear. Good. And then we just do that again. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm trying to explain it. That looks good, except that the ear on the left could stand to move over one more. My ears are a little lopsided, so I'm actually going to redo this ear. Yay! That's it. The winning number is three stitches apart, right in the center. And now that I'm happy, I'm going to go back through the way I came, making sure they're tied as I go. That's really good. And now I'm going to, I'm actually going to thread in the opposite 
piece of thread on this. And I'm happy with, I'm happy with it. It's sturdy. And now I'm just gonna tie, I'm gonna tie these ends in a double knot on the inside. And I'm also going to weave them in to the body. And then just to get these out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and weave in the ends. And technically, I guess it's still, I guess my ears are still a little lopsided. I could have gone four so that the ear, this ear ends closer to the edge of my eye here. But it's still cute. <laughs> I mean, and I could always cut this off and then pull all that little, the little pieces of thread out and start over. But I'm happy. I think it's still very cute. Now we go back to where we were. We're going to decrease. We're going to finish our bag by closing up the inside. Round 14, single crochet three, one, two, three, single crochet two together. Repeat from asterisk to asterisk all around. One, two, oops, two, three, round 15. Single crochet four, single crochet two together. So we're creating our decrease. It's a little different from our bottom. So one, two, three, four, single crochet two together. One, two, three, four. We're giving the inside more of a point like our face. One, two, three, four. It's more of an in incremental decrease. Round 16, single crochet three, single, so one, two, three, single crochet two together. Round 17, single crochet two and single crochet two together. Round 18, single crochet one, single crochet two together. Round 19, single crochet two together all around.
bind off. And since we can't weave this, I guess we could weave it in. We could weave it into the inside, but I'm just going to tuck it in, bring it out there, cut it. And then that's it. We tuck it into the inside where it conforms to the face design. And we've now got a top and a bottom. We have now the top of our case and the bottom of our case. I want the opening to face the bottom. So I'm going to attach the top and bottom right here. So I want to cut a really long piece of color A. And I only need about four stitches. So I'm going to make sure the ridge area of the top and bottom are facing each other. I'm going to start here. I'm going to go through one set of stitches. Actually, I'm going to start from the inside. I'm going to weave that in. So one, two, three, four, right between the ears. And then I'm just going to go through it one more time. I'm going to do that on each one. And we want to make sure that it's tight and just go through a few times on each set of stitches. And I'm just going back and forth and I'm hiding the stitches as much as I can. Once I am certain that it is really secure, I can either go back through the way I came or I can go ahead and weave in the ends. And in this case, I definitely want to weave in the ends because I don't want it to be loose. Chain 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Slip stitch into first chain space. So making sure we don't twist this. See, that's nice and flat. 
We're going to slip stitch into the very first chain space. Chain one. I'm going to go ahead and place a marker. Single crochet 10. Slip stitch. and bind off. So both of these ends will go into the top of our case. And I'm just going to aim for center. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use a few stitches along the edge to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to do that with both. And then weave in the ends. Now we sew our button on. We've got our ring so we know exactly where our button should go. Make sure. There we go. That would be it right there. And we want to make sure that when the ring goes around it, it goes around it easy. So so for me, it looks like going into the very bottom of that first top row will work great. Before I settle on it, yeah, that'll, that'll work great. And then what's great about Hiding the thread is that you can tie it in a couple of knots. And then feed it through your tapestry needle. Find a spot next to the button and feed it through, cut it, and it's hidden. And it fits around it great. Once your ear pods are in it, it's if you have any comments or suggestions or any ideas for a different animal please let me know thank you for stopping by i hope you had as much fun as i did until next time